Oh yeah, what's up guys? This is Curse Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, we're talking PlayStation 5. In fact, there is a new PlayStation 5 update launching tomorrow. And it's not a small one, it's a big one. There are now new storage options as well as a few gameplay uh, fixes. But the big one's the storage stuff. Now I'm going to state up front that this is not the expansion storage that a lot of people have been hoping for. They're still working on that. Apparently there's some technical things they got to sort out, but there are new storage options. In particular, uh, they're going to be able to now put your games, PS5 users can put your games on external drives, external USB drives. Transferring from a USB drive to a hard drive is actually really, really fast. It's a lot faster than taking the game and deleting it and re-downloading it. Now put it on a USB drive, a stick. Maybe you got a thumb drive with a lot of space on it, or you got a small external hard drive. It's now doable, and it's brand new, and it launches tomorrow. For those of you that are wondering, can you play games off of the external drives? At this time, you cannot, and the reason why is that the PlayStation 5, as you're probably well aware, have very, very fast SSDs in it, and yeah, the external drives are not up to the same speed, so it wouldn't work, and it would be a very poor experience. So... Just want to let you guys know that that is now underway and it will be hopping and popping tomorrow. The next thing I want to talk about is cross-generation share play. This is the second part of the update. It's not quite as big a news as the external drive stuff, but it's still big. Um, the PlayStation 4 and PS5 players can now share play together while chatting in parties. So it means a PS5 console user like yourself can let their friends on PS4 consoles, the peasants, <laughs> you can view their game screen. The PS4 people can view their game screen and even try out PS5 games through SharePlay, which is kind of neat. Haven't tried that yet, but it sounds kind of cool. Um, also, there's the ability to share your screen with a friend. You can pass your controller virtually to a friend. That'll be interesting to see what happens there. And uh, you can also pass a second controller virtually to play co-op games together. So, wow, crazy stuff happening. Also, guys, just the last one here I'll tell you about is there's a request to join game session as well. So a selection of your friends can join can join a game session, and yeah, they'll now appear on both PS5 and PS4 consoles. Again, I haven't seen this in action. This launches tomorrow, but this does allow for some more gameplay opportunities. Play with your friends, even if you're not on the same PS5, PS4. Not to worry, you can still you can still roll together. Um, also, oh yeah, it states here that the request to join option serves as a shortcut to sending a game invite. So it reduces the time it takes for you to get into the games with friends. So all in all, it's a pretty big update. It's the first big one since the game, since the console launched. And uh, yeah, get play with your friends. Take your games that you want to play, but you don't have space on your drive. Put them on an external drive. There's a whole bunch more of the things that are on it. I'll, I'll put a link in the description below to the full article. But that's the main stuff, guys. Thanks for watching. Be back soon.